Hello everyone! So let's talk about some settings that you can change in Cura to save yourself a ton of print time. For this example, we're going to be using this Pineapple Oddish from Filaments Folly. First up, let's talk about infill density. A lot of people set this really high, thinking that will make their parts stronger, and while that is technically kind of true in some situations, on most parts that are going to be decorative like this, you don't need a really high infill. Right now we have it set at 20%, and it's going to take us 5 hours and 42 minutes. Let's take a look at what the interior looks like. So looking at the infill, this is actually going to be pretty dense. This part's going to end up being very strong, so it's going to hold up very well to compressive forces, but this isn't necessary at all. I'm going to show you what I would do. All right, so this is with a 5% infill and you can see that there's a lot less infill in here so it's not going to be as strong but again for a decorative part this isn't a major concern. The next setting we're going to take a look at is your infill pattern. I think Cura uses cubic in most situations it's just the default setting but um, I almost exclusively use grid uh, just because it is a really structurally sound pattern uh, it tends to print very quickly and overall it gives uh, the best results in a pretty wide range of situations. Now there is a ton of information online about what infill patterns to use and what densities to use for certain applications, so definitely go and research that. Um, but again, if your part isn't going to be functional, if it's not going to be under load, then a 5-10% to 10 infill density is fine, and a grid pattern is probably going to be your best bet in most situations. And here's what 5% infill with a grid pattern looks like. And just changing those two settings, we've gone down from 5 hours and 42 minutes down to 4 hours and 29 minutes, so an hour and 10 minutes, a little bit over. Um, saved on our print time, which is awesome. But there's one more setting we're going to take a look at, and that's going to be under the Walls tab, and it's called Wall Line Count. I typically use two walls in most situations, that's going to be fine, it'll give your part a good amount of detail, and you'll get a good solid part, but um, there are some situations where you'd want to change this. Uh, some people like to add more walls when they're printing a helmet. Um, essentially what you're doing is you're telling Cura how many walls you want in your print. So if I zoom in here, you can see that we have two here on the outer edge. Now, if you add more, what's going to happen is the outer perimeter of this model is going to get thicker, and that changes the amount of time the nozzle is going to have to move around the outer perimeter, which increases your print time dramatically. So if you don't think that you need more than two walls, go with two. Um, but yeah, those are some settings that will save you a ton of time, sometimes as much as an hour or more, depending on the model. Uh, really hope that helps you out. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me or join my Facebook group. Otherwise, let's go print something.